Hello everyone. I just want to make a quick video showing two ways how you can damage your engine using the water muffs. Now, as you may know, the water muffs allow you to run the engine and test it in the backyard or just by simply hooking up a hose like this to the water muffs and then connecting the water muffs to the intake on the lower unit. As you can see, the intake grills are kindly removed as this is obviously just a junk piece, but you install the, the muffs over the intake and it's kind of getting stuck at the bottom there. There you go. And you turn on the hose and you run the engine. Ideally, everything should be perfect, but I just, there are two things that you really should watch out for. One, the simple one is, don't run the hose too hard. Just turn on the water and let it run because the engine itself will suck up the water. There is no need to put the hose on high and kind of, you know, have it, have it shoot into the engine with a lot of force. You basically just want to turn it on so it's lightly running, just, just like normal, and the engine will suck up the water itself. What I've heard, I've not actually experienced this myself, but I heard that if you turn on the hose too much pressure, what can happen is the water can kind of push around and make it difficult for the engine to actually suck up the water because it's kind of not freely flowing. So just be aware of this, that the engine will do the job of sucking up the water. It has a water pump. If there's water, the water will get sucked up. Don't try to add additional pressure to the hose to get the water into your motor. If, if it's not getting into the engine, something's wrong. Now, the second way that you can basically actually screw up your motor, which this has definitely happened to me, and that is vibration can cause this to move slightly. Now, recently when I had another motor, when I ran it on full speed for a moment, or with a choke up, and then I slowed it down again, the vibration would cause this to very slightly kind of fall off. Now the danger of this is that you turn on the motor, it's running, you see the water coming out at a little nozzle, meaning it's getting cooling, everything seems perfect. You're, you're ready to test your engine, it's on, you, know, you lift the choke, you put it in first gear, reverse, you, you do whatever, and suddenly you look at the engine and it's no longer excreting water. It's, it, it, this is because vibration and the speed changes can actually cause this to move to the side just a little bit. And while you're kind of not paying attention, you're working on the engine and you think everything is great, you look over and suddenly the engine is overheating very quickly and there's no water going through it. And this is something I just wanted to make it very clear. Keep an eye on what's going on. You might just look away and you're not going to be paying attention because everything's already working great. You have the water hooked up, you know, the motor is running, everything's perfect. And then you suddenly look over and there's no actual water coming out of the engine. This has happened to me more than once and it's, it's kind of a scary thing because it's not really something you're looking for or paying attention. You just kind of think everything is going great. And that's pretty much why I wanted to make this video. Just watch out for this, and especially part two. But uh, most importantly, just turn, turn on the water so it's flowing steadily. And just keep an eye on it. And if you have more than one person helping you, just have one person stand there and always keep an eye on the engine just to make sure the water is actually coming out of the water intake. Or out of the hose that the water comes out of the engine. So yeah, just, just be careful of this, because obviously if the water is not running through the engine at all, it can overheat very quickly. This is not standard operation, so it's pretty much burn your motor up in your backyard very quickly. And this is just, you really want to avoid this. Just a quick tip, something very simple to watch out for. I hope this helps out.